Howdy y'all, Random Lady here. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, then welcome. I know that I normally talk about mental health and mental illness, um, particularly my own uh, mental illness and health. And I fear that my vlogs had taken a darker turn. So I changed that. And I want you to know I am getting extra counseling. And I've taken a new turn, and in, if you've been following along in my vlogs, you'll see that they have become different. I've made it a point to get out and about, to get out of the house with my family. My husband took us out to eat one night, and together, as a family, we made a list of different things that we can go and see right here in our local area. And so we've been making it a point as a family to get together and go out to those places. Summer is coming, so we don't want to sit around the house uh, on our phone or on a computer or watching the TV. We want to get out and about and see these places. So we've already started doing that on the weekends. And if you've been watching my vlogs, you'll notice that the last two or three vlogs have revealed that you know I'm not in front of the camera a lot but rather what I'm seeing so that you can take that journey with me and I want to encourage you to get out of the house research it on the internet and see what's around even if it's just going to the park like it started with uh, my girls and I just going to the park let me show you that video so uh, my daughters talked me into getting out of the house and try to go for a walk a little nature walk um, and here's the situation. I go on walk, long walks with this. Yeah, um, that's how, that's how weak I am. I get out of breath easy, but this is how it starts is getting out and doing it. So see, just a quick little video, we walked around the park and then it stemmed from there and now we've gone to see quite a few things. Now, it was my birthday, but my husband had to work, so my daughters and I just jumped in the car and we said, road trip is on our list. Okay. Let's take a quick road trip around the city and let's just see where we end up. And we had no plan. So. so someone would say, turn right, right here. Okay. Hey, let's go straight. Hey, that looks interesting. Turn left. And we would. And in that time, we stumbled across the, I took notes, the Potato Famine monument, monument in Buffalo, New York. The Potato Famine Monument in Buffalo, New York. There we go. And so what I'm going to do, so that you're not looking at me, is I'm going to impose uh, photos and little videos that I took over what I'm doing. So, like I said, you don't have to look at my face. You're welcome. <laughs> so here we go. Hey, disclaimer. Um, my app, my editing app is being a poopy head and it's because, well, it's updated app with a really old cell phone. So, and, and my cell phone is my studio. So yeah. Anyway, you're going to have to look at my ugly mug. This. Sorry. Now back to the video. The potato famine monument. First, let's talk about the famine. Beginning in 1845, Ireland was under British rule, and they suffered a great famine, causing over one million deaths in Ireland due to crop failure, due to a blight. Nearly two million more Irish were forced to emigrate. Now, about the memorial, many Irish organizations of Buffalo uh, Buffalo, New York, joined forces with the city of Cork, Ireland to erect this monument in recognition of the terrible cost of the great hunger and struggle and also the achievements of the Irish people in this country. 
The memorial was dedicated in 1997. And about the site, though most immigrants arrived in New York City, many continued their journey to western New York through the Erie Canal in search for work. Thousands of Irish settled here in western New York. The monument is placed where they settled along the Erie Canal in view of the industries they worked for. Turning the page. Now the design of the monument is very symbolic and so uh, I'm going to read about that. The stones in the center of the, the huge stone in the center of the monument are imported from Ireland. Actually, I believe all of them are. The center granite is set off center to represent the Irish diaspora. The well surrounding the standing granite stone symbolizes the Great Silence, a period after the famine when no one dared to speak of it. Yeah. The inscription below is from the Bible. Written in Irish, it translates, If these were to be silent, the very stones would cry out. The circular stone field has names of famine victims who survived, their descendants, and friends. The stones left blank honor the unknown victims who perished in the famine. Thirty-two boulders outside in a ring represent Ireland's 32 counties. These stones hail from Cork, Ireland as well. The Cork, Ireland Harbor where many immigrants walked to leave Ireland for the very last time. Someone left a white rose when we were there. We noticed uh, a long stem white rose at the base of the center, center granite, so we got some video of that. And there were little trees growing here or there, like reclaiming the earth from this stone monument. Thought that was interesting. Now, uh, I tried to film a ship in Buffalo Canal. That's one of the sites we're going to be seeing in my vlogs. But all the trees were in the way. This is why I don't like. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I will keep vlogging about other sites that we see. We plan on seeing a lot of them. And thank you for being with me through this. I have a few other videos of this monument and you enjoy them. Our hearts are with them in the earth and they with us within our hearts. Now we together live forever. We are the harvest of the blight.
Let us not fail our seed. Here's a stone. It gives the history of the famine. And this placard gives the history of the Irish Famine Memorial. And this placard over here, it gives more history about the memorial itself. It's talking about the monument in the middle and the stones around it. And then this placard talks about the site itself. Now, that scription at the bottom, it translates to, let me find it, translate, if these were to be silent, the very stones would cry out. And it looks out upon water and the docks and Charlotte <laughs> and a restaurant over here you see some people eating so yeah it's a pretty nice little site here's our little list um, we even keep adding to it but we've already hit a few places on it um, and even plan on returning to the places we've gone to on some of it so and we're already planning our next trip in a few days and I urge you to do the same thing. There's a lot more places around you than you think. Even if it's just the local park to enjoy the scenery of nature and other people in the park. Go do it. Mm. Where did you get that love up here that you're wondering? This is a souvenir from the Botanical Gardens of Buffalo in Erie County. If you want to see that video, just check the link in the description below. Yeah, it's down there. <laughs>